Hey, we are a week away from September, traditionally one of the most important months for Apple. So far we know for sure that iPhones and new Apple watches will be showcased, but with iPads things still appear to be unclear. Will there be any iPad next month at all? And while we were hinted about at least one model potentially coming, we are still debating could this be the next Mini or the Air. Both of these are possible scenarios as I stated in some of my previous videos. But Apple's next entry-level tablet, an iPad 11, still seems to be uncertainty. We should talk and let me ask you, can we get an iPad 11 this September? Please answer in the comment section below. One thing we are sure, however, that the new iPad OS will be introduced. If you're like me, you probably prefer a clean slate install. In that case, you definitely need a fast and reliable way to back up your data. And EaseUs has a perfect solution for you. Mobi Mover, an iOS data transfer and management software, a tool that has been featured on some of the most recognized tech portals. It's easy to install install it and set it up. Backup and restore your iPad and iPhone data is now just a matter of click. You can transfer files between your Mac and iPad or iPhone and vice versa. You can also back up your WhatsApp data and share it between two iPhones if you prefer. Mobi Mover even goes beyond. It allows you to quickly convert high efficiency image format to JPEG, videos to MP3 and even download videos from multiple platforms. But that's not all. EaseUs offers huge variety of Useful software tools. This promo, for example, has been recorded by the Rec Expert Screen Recorder. Make sure you check everything out. Click on the link in the description and in a pinned comment. Now let's go! Hi friends and welcome to this Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple's news, leaked information, tech rumors and product reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. There haven't been a lot of news or leaked information about the successor of 2022 iPad. To be honest, I don't recall any specific, only few words, speculations and that's all. If you look closely at Apple's existing iPad lineup from performance perspective and appearance, there may not be a reason for it in the first place. The actual 10 iteration tablet is impressive in every way, almost, if we exclude the lack of laminated display, which apart from processor and Apple Pencil 1 support, is the only feature that differentiated from the current iPad Air. This is self-explanatory. Everlasting presence of iPad 9 since 2021 doesn't simplify things either. With that said, there is no doubt that whatever comes next as a placement for 10 gen will not bring some design refinements considering that this product line has inherited just one year ago. The bigger concern for the consumers would be possible display lamination, but for now it appears it's not happening. A14 Bionic, which is at the core of 2022 iPad, is still a powerful animal. And if we do get its successor this year, we could hope for A15, which for majority of average users will not mean a lot. Both forward-facing and camera on the back will surely remain identical. And no, I don't believe you should expect sudden support for Apple Pencil Generation 2, because sadly, it is still early for something like that to happen, at least according to Apple's standards. Going back to the principal question of this video. Will there be an entry-level iPad this year? Well, none of the information out there suggests sufficient for us to suspect at least. Historically speaking, Cupertino's giant has been fairly consistent in the release cycle of the standard iPad ever since 2017. Just by looking at that stats can make you feel optimistic about its potential arrival. But between 2012 and 2016, there was no budget iPad at all. The difference, however, in that time all new series of tablets has been introduced, an iPad Air. Would similar scenario take place? I don't think so. Although I would accept if we see something new, maybe that giant model with 14.1 inch screen diagonal. If you remember, at one point there were dubs that this could be a pro version. But then again, I'm skeptic. To be fair, Apple can simply get away with it and not release new iPads at all this year. We know that this is a possibility too. 
right? But then on the end, iPad can easily arrive in October since it's probable that there will be another presentation month after September. Let's face it, 2022 release took place in October. Why can't this happen again? It won't be the first time. The only issue that concerns me is the lack of rumors and leaks for such a long time. It's almost concerning. Whatever happened, it's obvious we cannot do anything about it besides to wait and see. September event is now a matter of days. Let's be patient a little bit more. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, slap that thumbs up and turn on all notifications. Thank you so much for watching Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.